So today we are making a tile, a clay tile out of stoneware clay. Um, it could also be coasters or some wall hangers. You put a little sort of hole in there, it could be wall hangers. And we're impressing pattern to make a lovely decorative um, tile here. So we start with um, the equipment. We will need roughly a kilogram of clay. This is just under, I think. Um, two wooden guides. This is just dowel cut in, cut to the right length. This is roughly um, just under a centimetre in width there. A rolling pin, some clay tools if you have them. A knife is really important to trim your tile. A template, you can use card. Um, I've got just a coaster. You can use anything really. I've got a coaster here, cork coaster. Um, some items that you've collected to impress in um, to create some pattern. We've got some African sort of stamps, a shell and some interesting kind of textured rubber um, here. So we start with rolling out our clay. Let's put all my tools to one side. I'm going to place our clay on a wooden board. And we're going to place our guides on top of the wooden board like this. The idea with the rolling pin is the guides will eventually when you get when we roll enough they will sit on top of the wooden guides like um, railway tracks so you won't roll too thin, um, won't roll your tile too thin. So it's easy sometimes with the palm of your hand to gently press down your clay just just a little bit so it's still a couple of an inch and a half sort of thick and then we start in the middle and we gently roll out a bit and if you keep on turning your board then so the idea is that we're creating we're not creating a tile unless you want that that's fairly long and thin room on the board for the guides now so I'm just rolling this slightly by freehand if you don't have wooden guides you don't have to use them it just make it a lot easier it's just like rolling out pastry I always get it quite thin you could also gently pick your piece up another way to stretch out your clay you get a nice even sort of tile roughly there you can see a nice even tile there so I'm gonna flatten it down again and now we can start um, to decorate so I'm first going to be much easier um, rather than cutting the clay into the right shape now um, and then when we press, impress our pattern in, it will slightly become out of shape. It's best, I think, to just sketch out, sketch out a um, the rough shape that you want. I'm going to go around. Pencil's very handy for this. So we have a rough round shape. I like to start with um, creating a border. I'm just going to play around with this. Play and then work my way inwards. Um, you can impress items in into clay. You can draw, you can drag things through clay to create pattern. I prefer the impress sort of method. You can carve into clay when this is slightly harder. When the tile gets a bit harder after it's dried out for a bit, you can carve some patterns in 
shells and found items are really nice to kind of roll when pressing like this. This is quite a big scallop one. If you make a mistake, you can generally just smudge out any areas. I really like this rubber. So. so this is a clay tool. You find the clay tools usually have two different ends that create two different sort of patterns. Um, just have a play with them because sometimes you can draw on this is about finished now so when you've finished your tile, you can then put your template back over the top. You can always do a freeform shape, that's quite interesting as well, but we're going to put this template back on the top and we're going to trim. I found when you trim your tile, sometimes it's best to take small areas off at first. So I'm going to do bit by bit. And there we have a finished tile. If you want to make a coast, obviously you can make uh, smaller ones. You can use cookie cutters, biscuit cutters. They're great for cutting out of clay. You can, if you want to do a, a wall hanging, you can use things like straws. Paper straws are very good to put holes in before it starts drying, much easier at this stage. And then I would leave this to dry on the wooden board. If you try and lift it now, it will stick and it will become out of shape. So I'd leave this to dry a few hours, um, a few days, cover it with um, some plastic so it dries evenly and slowly. Um, if you're using air dry clay, then you can dry it completely and then paint it with acrylics. Um, if you're firing this, if you're able to find somewhere to fire this, um, that's great. I would dry it out, take it to the artist or the college or if you have one um, at your school, that's great. Um, and then you can um, bisque fire that um, and then reglaze that with something like um, underglazes. The, the artist will be able to tell you um, what you can do there or glaze it and then fire that again. Um, and good luck and have fun.